Thank you, Stephen. Last month, President Donald Trump announced that a military canine was used by United States Special Forces in a raid that led to the death of an ISIS leader. What some people may not realize is just how often those dogs are used in war. Our Erica Hernandez has more about one local man and his dogs who've saved many lives in Afghanistan and Iraq. Dennis Blocker has quite the story to tell. He has truly seen how brave dogs can be in times of war. It's bothered me that nobody knows about them. During the war in Afghanistan and Iraq, Dennis was there training and handling canines. Him along with his dogs were often called upon to sniff around for explosives and contraband. These two were mine. I was able to adopt both of them. Okay. This is Lackey and this is Torres. Torres had three tours in Iraq, two tours in Afghanistan, and he was at New York City during 9-11, and he was there protecting the Empire State Building. After hours in his think tank in his backyard, Dennis has just finished one book and in the process of writing a second about his time with the dogs. That's one of the reasons I wrote the book, because I was able to see and experience I've been working with dogs for years, training war dogs, police dogs, and I was able to see the bravery, see the fear, and see the fun times with these dogs. But it took Dennis eight years to complete because of a battle with cancer. I'm thinking, Lord, please let me survive. You know, I still want to see this printed. And now seeing the cover of the first book makes the long hours in his think tank worth it. It was an honor for me to always hold that leash and walk behind those dogs, to walk behind them and realize, uh, America, these dogs here are protecting your sons, your daughters, and our allies. And it was an honor for me. The Dogs I've Known in Two Wars, book one, Iraq, doesn't get released until the beginning of December. Right now, you can go to the book's website to register for a book and read more about Dennis and his dogs. We have a link up right now on ksat.com. Erica Hernandez, KSAT 12 News.